My name is Emmy Harward. I'm Director of College Counseling at the Bishop School in La Jolla, California. When college-bound students are considering paying for college, they should really look at uh, not only what they want to study, but what they want to get out of that college experience because there are a number of institutions where students could enroll, where they could be uh, paying public university tuition, they could be paying private university tuition, but they could also look for scholarships and other outside resources in order to pay for college. And so looking at as many options as possible to consider what uh, a range of funding sources would be, I think makes, makes sense in collecting information. There are a great range of resources students can use to educate themselves about financing, and first and foremost, they can use their high school counselor or any resources at their school. Often, uh, colleges will provide information on high schools that students can, can access, whether it's a resource counselor or a co dedicated college counselor in their school. There are also some great websites that students can consult uh, out there. The California Student Aid Commission has some really amazing options for students to research, not only of state aid, but also federal aid. Plus, students can talk to their parents about potential um, opportunities their parents' employers have, any fraternal organizations to which they belong, and also research outside uh, scholarships. The, the internet has made it really rather easy for students to look at some of these options. I think there are a range of things students should consider in, in paying for college, and, and primarily is looking at the value of the education versus the cost. And I think some people assume uh, that the more expensive the institution, maybe the stronger the education is. And there are students who can really get an amazing undergraduate education, even starting at a two-year institution that's going to be much more affordable, and then transferring to a four-year private or public university. There are also a great number of resources that students can use to make a private university or a more expensive institution more affordable. Uh, from state and federal grant programs to merit scholarships, whether it's based on academic performance, uh, any additional talent, athletic or arts or, or anything else, plus outside scholarships that students could potentially research and receive. So looking, looking broadly at what the options are, but also looking at what is going to make the most sense in the long run so a student does it begin their professional life in a great deal of debt from having taken out loans. Uh, a four-year college degree has really in, in many uh, professional organizations become such a, a basic requirement that employers are looking for that it really makes sense for students to keep as many options open as possible, which is another reason why it makes sense to look at funding and financing so early because I think many students assume they won't be able to afford to pay for college or maybe can only afford for a two-year institution and won't be able to transfer to a four-year public or private institution. And so looking at funding resources and not assuming that a family won't be able to pay, I think makes good sense. But there are a range of costs, there are a range of colleges and universities across the country that may not necessarily cost as much as a student and family may assume. I think college-bound students should definitely plan ahead when looking at college expenses. And one thing that they can do is really talk to their family to see if there are any financial resources that the family can offer, can go online to some great online calculators that students can use to get a sense of any federal or state aid that they might be able to receive. But also beyond that, to look at resources at their own high school, to look at uh, websites from the college that may offer them options about need-based financial aid, about merit-based scholarships, and also just to use any any opportunities that they have in their community to be able to uh, get more information about college funding. But students need to start saving. It is, it is an expense. It is something they need to incur. And so putting away some of the money from a summer job or a job during the year in order to be able to plan ahead just makes good economic sense.